So we're doing the what's in my work bag. Lioness is on the rise. Don't you ever have done. Hey everyone, it's your girl Shani the Lioness and welcome back to my channel! So, today I decided to do another what's in my bag. Now, I filmed this what's in my bag before, however, I didn't really like how it came out. So I decided, why not give it another try? Again, I changed my filming location. Um, this is my th this is the third spot in my room that I'm trying this whole YouTube backdrop thing with. Um, my original setup, I love it, but sometimes when I watch my videos, I'm like, you're such a narcissist, Shanna, with that big picture of yourself in the background. But <laughs> I've found that that's one of the most comfortable positions for me to film in my room. My second filming position that I tried, even though I like the backdrop, my friend told me it was a bit weird when she was talking to me offline so i tried this corner this is actually the vanity corner of my room and i really love it my vanity is so cute very old school from the 70s but i love it nonetheless so i hope you guys like this setup. today we're doing a what's in my work bag now my work bag is from the brand joy and joy and iman um it's a really nice bag I love the look of it it's serious but still fun I the shoulder era it's long enough to go over my shoulder but I can also carry it in the nook of my arm so I really like that it's a bit tattered you know cuz I kind of over pack it but I love it nonetheless it has a lot of compartments and it's big enough to hold most of my stuff so yeah now on the first thing on my bag I have this little keychain puff that my aunt brought back from New York for me as well as I have a pocket back from Bath and Body Works however it's finished I need to go and buy the refill first uh, so on the front it's just the name of the brand and then at the back there is a pocket uh, let's see what's in there right now in that pocket I have some old gum from yesterday a uh, packet of extra gum and my pen slash stylus that I got in a, a phone case it's kind of old but the pen writes and the stylus works so I keep it so I really love that the bag has two zips to the side and within it it has a compartment a few compartments to the back as well as two compartments to the front which when I empty out the bag I'll you'll be able to see what is what so let me start with the back <laughs> compartment oh god inside my bag is super dirty guys so see with me so in the back compartment I have my EOS lip balm I think this was in the flavor vanilla swirl or something like that don't even remember I've had it for a bit um that's it for that section the little pout section before it is empty uh now it's full this is my purse now my purse is not a real chanel purse but i liked it and i really love the quilting i actually bought it for really cheap i bought it for like 2500 jamaican dollars which um is a little under 20 us um it has compartments a lot of compartments which I like compartment here here like three in the center and a zipper section the zipper broke so I think I need to definitely change the purse and another back component uh, I'll just do a quick run through in the purse so I have a slip from one of my banks picture of my mom when she was graduating from her undergraduate from university her undergraduate degree picture of myself from 2015 and a picture of my mom again so that's that first compartment in the second compartment I have some a bank statement and some Jamaican money this is our $50 bill this is our 
$1,000 bills. Uh, in the second section, I have just bank cards. My credit union bank card, not going to show my bank card. Um, my rewards card from Grace Kennedy. Um, my another bank card. My bus card. You know, we bought that bus life. <laughs> no car yet. Um, and my old credit card, which I have to take out. Because I activated my new card today. I have a receipt from yesterday. Ah, uh, from Pastry Passions. I'm so addicted to that place. They have the best cupcakes. Like, come on, Bailey's cheesecake cupcake and strawberry. Of course, I have to go there. I have this drawing of a doggy wagon in Taylor. Super happy that my dad drew. I need to give that to my mom to laminate it so I can have it solid. I have this I believe card that I got from the women so we inspire women workshop that I went to last year, August. And it says what each of us believe in is up to us, but life is impossible without believing in something. And that's by Kentetsu Takamori. And I just keep that in my purse when I want some inspiration. Another card I have, my friend Nicole gave me. It says, hope is the best part of our riches. And it's by William Eller Ray Channing. And on the front, it says, in the front it says I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you and that's Ephesians 1 verse 18 so I put a little string in the top I wanted to put a string on this one but there's literally no space for that so yeah I walk around with those I read them whenever I feel down their business cards from friends and stuff I also have some more business cards another Rotary business card from a Rotarian I met in St. Martin two years ago and some other places and I still have the business card from the <laughs> restaurants I went to in Orient Bay two years ago in St. Martin yeah I know I'm weird but I guess I like I'm a bit of a hoarder the other section is just more bank cards and my new credit card like that I activated. More bank cards. My Jamaica National ID. Well, it's actually voting ID because we don't have a national ID. Just have my picture, my information, and on the back it has my address. So that's that. And another bank card. And then in the other section, I have a US one dollar note i work in a funeral home so i don't have internet at work so i have to be using my computer at home to do some of my work and send certain emails until the technician can come in and get that sorted um the next thing i have i work with lotion i'm so ashy and yes i'm ghetto because i have my lotion in an old baby oil container but I am big on recycling and reusing stuff all right um next thing I have is just a flash drive same work situation where I have no internet so I just have to be putting stuff on a flash drive I have the key to my office and the story behind this lanyard I've had this lanyard since around 2003 or 2004 I think I went to the Smirnoff experience party that they used to keep in Jamaica and yeah, so this is 13 years old. My work cell phone. I'm currently reading this book. Um, Who Moved My Cheese? An Amazing Way to Deal with Change in Your Work and Your Life by Dr. Spencer Johnson. So, yeah. Of course, it's a bit like copy. Forgive me. I'm a bookaholic. I buy books, but I actually got this from my mom so yeah but it's a good read so far i just started reading it and i'm enjoying it so i guess when i'm done i'll may maybe mention a few of my favorite books because i really love to read uh the next thing i have is my bando agenda which i love and here is a congratulations card for one of my 
mentees who graduated from high school on Tuesday in the bag I also have washi tape which is I've been walking with it because I was supposed to decorate this week's spread but because of the whole move at work I didn't get time the other thing I have is this elf um, contour in blush and bronzing cream. I really use it for the mirror. It's always good to have a mirror around. I also have hand sanitizer. Yeah, this is a little pure hand sanitizer. It really comes in handy. Um, the other thing I have is this pouch. It was actually a Victoria's Secret, no, Bath and Body Works, sorry, pouch. I really like it. It has this cute little detail. This is where I usually keep the hand sanitizer, uh, Kleenex, and I really love this new brand. I love that it has um, the little quotes on the front, like this one says, just wanted to say, with a blank space and an XOXO, and I love the little tagline, someone needs one. So I bought like a pack of these at the supermarket. I also have sunscreen because you never know when you're going to need sunscreen. I have more sunscreen. Uh, emergency stuff. Um, just a tampon, walk with it. You never know when somebody might need one. I have this Mary Kay satin lip balm. Satin lips lip balm. So I have two lip balms. Yeah. Uh, I also have triple antibiotic. Um, cream antibiotic cream you never know when somebody's gonna get a cut I have a little spoolie I have some random stuff in this bag um, and the thing with why you have stuff repeating is that whenever I'm probably going out on weekends I usually throw the pouch in whatever bag I'm taking just so I can have those stuff or if like I'm going to the beach or to the country or wherever I was walk with that the other thing I have is this it's a digital speaker thing that you would put um, your iPhone in and it makes it louder my mommy got that at, at some track event uh, I have a pen I have this this purse was actually made by a former rotor actor her name is Saran. Her business was called Sky Designs. Yes, Sky Designs. So I've had this for years, but I love it. I use it as my pencil case. Um, the zipper section broke off, but I had this bicycle key ring, so I just put it on to be able to open the purse, to the bag, and inside it I just have liquid, paper, a uh, rotary pen, another pen, um, other flash drives this is my set Martin flash drive that I got in set Martin two years ago and I have my Roche flash drive that I got in the Bahamas last year and it's on a go army reserves lanyard because my brother is actually in the US Army so I have some army swag so one section empty and you get to see that there's another compartment um, in this I just have a Jamaican $1 coin uh, this also has another pocket I think this is a note from someone then it has another compartment with even more zippers that are empty and another business card from a competing funeral home uh, empty I have my highlighter which is supposed to be my pencil case I need to put that back and I have the program from the graduation I attended on Tuesday and these side sections are empty but they're empty for a reason because they had one my cell phone which is a blue I don't remember what style but this is my daily cell phone and I also have my iPhone 5 which is my it's the phone I use for snapchat and my blog Instagram other thing I carry in my bag is this pouch thing it was from a retreat that the Portmore Community College had my mom's good friend works there so yeah and in this what I have basically just paper I have a notebook that I got at the same 
wheel spiral men retreat so i just stuck it in here and then at the back i just have random papers really like this because if i'm going on the road and i don't want to carry my purse i can always slip the things i need in it and go so that's my bag that's what it looks like empty but you know this is shana and i'm really extra probably you don't get that i'm extra in my videos but my friends can tell you i'm very extra so me being extra i don't carry one bag alone to work i actually carry two and this is just a knockoff michael kors bag that i bought for cheap a long time ago and I really love it and, it and I'm gonna show you what than my I work did. bag um it has compartments at the side uh there's nothing in the compartments it also comes with like this key holder thing that I like it's pretty heavy so it's hard for me to get up and take it up and show you but I'm gonna show you how it looks inside after uh first thing I have is this folder thing and yes it's filled to the brim with papers, it's all roacher related papers and I need to clean it out. I really need to clean it out because I have books and my roacher magazine. I also have a notepad in it that I use. Oh, and some other papers. So I need to clean that out because it really looks terrible at the moment. Um, the next thing I have is my blogging and vlogging book it says mm -hmm. don't quit your daydreams and you can see that it's had a rough time basically in it i just have notes video ideas blog post ideas and to keep track of stuff related to the blog or the vlog itself and i always walk with it because sometimes ideas come um I'm on the GT network. I think I've mentioned this on a blog post. I'll link the blog post below. So this basically is just the release to use my YouTube content. I need to put it in my files. Um, I have another Rotarian magazine. It's actually the latest copy. I got it yesterday and I started to read it and highlight. I'm gonna finish reading it. Um, the other thing I have is a clipboard and on this clipboard I have a adult coloring page that I got from a website I can't remember the website uh, but the girl has some cool stuff that you can download and of course it's relaxing adult coloring is relaxing I have this because I'm supposed to start it I haven't started yet I have another Rotary magazine I really love reading these of course I have another notepad because I just like to write a lot <laughs> yeah I'm old school I have notes and stuff on my iPhone but I, I, I like there's nothing like pen and paper um, another thing this is uh, old phone bill my cell phone bill and this is a May edition of the Sunday Gleaner and again I work in a funeral home so I just have a death announcement page because sometimes when I'm at work I have to explain and show certain things to customers especially new customers who are burying a relative for the first time another Rotarian magazine it's like I walk with all my Rotarian magazines and I have this little notebook which is my I'm the youth service director in my Rotary club so I just have this to write notes about the youth service programs and I have a random post-it with somebody's number yeah so that's the inside it has two pockets here a zipper a pocket and the key holder thing i was showing you and i really like this bag i would make this a regular work bag but as you see it's actually falling apart because of the weight of everything that i take in it but yeah that's it that's my what's in my bag work edition I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I carry a lot of things to work. It's weird. Um, I probably pack like somebody who <laughs> who goes to school. But um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hey, I'd love to see your what's in 
my bag so if you're a youtuber and you have a what's in my bag on your channel just link it below in the comment section so i can watch it i love watching these bags maybe i'm fast i don't know i like to see what people take to work you know or if i'm the only crazy bag lady who walks with two bags when going to work but yeah but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up yeah give your girl a like subscribe comment for more and i'll see you in the next one it's your girl shani the lioness peace love shani the lioness signing out. I love mommy, mommy.